I serve on several boards of directors, both here in Michigan, where I live, and also national boards. Um, I think sometimes a lot of people want to be on a board because they like the status that goes with it, but if you're really going to be a good board member, you have to be involved. And I can say that because I know one of the boards I'm on, we've literally spent in the past two weeks, 24 hours together dealing with some very difficult issues. So being on a board is exciting. It's great. You should only be on a board um, that you really believe in because you need to give it the time and to support the organization because that's really why you're there. You're there to support the organization and help them realize their goals. Um, but it's exciting to meet exciting people and, and help set direction for something that you care about. Um, it's fun. It's fun. It's a good thing to do, to be on the board, but it's a lot of work, which is why I limit mine. So. As I've developed in my career, you find out that the boards that you're asked to be on um, are pretty significant. And that's because you have to establish yourself. You have to establish your reputation. Um, you're there on the board to provide a purpose. You're not just there to sit there and go, oh, look, I'm on the board of something. You're there because you bring a skill set to the board, which is why I've been approached to be on boards, um, that the board needs. So um, you really have to develop yourself and develop that skill set, develop your reputation, um, and especially as a woman. And once you're there, um, you have to speak up, especially as a woman, because uh, you're going to be in the minority and on most boards, unless it's an all-female board for some organization, but most of the people are not going to be female. So you really are representing all women when you're sitting on that board.